Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Now, on my next video, which is coming up in about a week, week and a half, I'm actually going to be doing a review on oscilloscopes. I went and ordered the, this Handtech uh, with my own money. It's not paid for by anybody. It's paid for by me. This Handtech uh, 1008B. And this is my Modus Ultra. Now, I'm only going to be doing the oscilloscope uh, portion of the test, the, the scanner of the Modus Ultra, I'm not touching at all. I've had this one for, it's probably going on about six years now, five years, six years. I bought this one when it, it first came out. And I just seen the hand tech and it looked like a really uh, good choice for a, a lower base os oscilloscope. Now the hand tech, let's get this out, I haven't even opened it yet. so. Let's get this out real quick. Okay. On first glance, it has a uh, rubber protectors. It's very, very, very light. Apparently, it has an updated case that actually vents, so it doesn't overheat anymore. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. Uh, yeah, I like that. You can. All right. It has updated uh, vents, and I just wanted to see what it could do. Cause honestly. I love my my Snap-on. My Snap-on is very very good for what I needed it to do. And now I just wanted to see what this little guy was all about. I I seen this guy a couple of years ago and I just really wanted to try him out. So that's what I'm actually gonna gonna be doing. Now the Handtech has a a signal generator. So as soon as it's powered up, this guy starts sending out a, out a signal. Okay. Oh. Show you guys if you guys can see it. It's this guy over here, the first one all the way over here. Okay, that's your signal generator. Actually, do I have something? Yes, I do. There we go. So, your signal generator is uh, this guy right here. And that's what we're, I'm going to be doing for my base test on uh, the hand tech and the, the snap on. And it's a two volt, and if I'm not mistaken, it's at uh, one millisecond, from what the specs say anyway. But that is to be to be seen. Now I'm also going to be doing the exact same test with a snap on, and this is just going to be a preliminary test that's going to be done in my in my little shop with my computer, the hand tech, and the uh, snap on. Now, after that test is done, I will have other videos to complement this one, which is going to be the Hantech on my, I'm going to use my own vehicle, I'm going to use the Hantech to perform some tests onto it, and the same tests are going to be performed with the Snap-on. And I'll be posting those up uh, in the coming weeks, because I can't do all that all at once, but I will get you guys this video up in the next week, week and a half max. Maybe by even by the end of this week. We'll we'll see what happens. Cause I have a uh, some stuff that has to get done. So all right. So besides that, that's uh, just wanted to let you guys know about the upcoming review and hopefully you can pass the word around. I am going to be going in more in depth with both of these and showing how people how to actually. Uh, well, not actually, because there are very good uh, technicians out there that show how to how to use oscilloscopes. But I'm gonna be just going through my method of how I use them, and if uh, people like it, well, they can uh, use my my techniques. And if not, well, there's always somebody else that uh, that might be able to to teach uh, teach people, because there's not only one way of doing something. So, that being said. In about uh, earliest by the end of the week, latest in the middle of next week, I'll have the video up on the hand tech and the snap on re review to see how the hand tech performs compared to the snap on and how the snap on performs compared to the hand tech. So stay tuned.